guys, what's up? Welcome back to Triple A and L. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. But first, excuse my tacky background. I know I'm getting it together for you guys, so hopefully it'll be together. I'm putting a little bit more on this side, a little bit on that side. So however it goes, I will get it together, you guys. And but if you guys like this so far, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up or something. So today I'm actually gonna do just a very simple makeup look, you guys. It's nothing too dramatic, um, like the last one, and I probably won't upload very many videos like the last makeup tutorial but I will sometimes because I do enjoy doing it like I said but I'm using products that I um that I haven't that I just started using new products that I just started using I want to tell you guys a little bit about it and most of the time I will do just simple makeup looks using new products and telling you guys how I like them um they might not necessarily be new like in stores they just like new like they just got you know put up and everything like that but um they'll, they'll be new for me they'll be nice good finds for me um but that's just what i want to let you guys know i'm gonna try to talk through this video it's gonna be a talk through because i like talk throughs a lot better i feel like i should have done the other video to talk talk through the last video because i feel like i was just really jumbly in that video um and i feel like i can explain myself a little bit more if i do I do talk throughs i feel like i it's just a lot easier for me to do so i'm gonna start from the way beginning from what i do whenever i do do my makeup show you guys um let you guys know so i will moisturize my face this is not new i usually use this user and baby lotion um and i just put a little bit on my hand i don't put too much because if i do then it's just i feel like i'm too lotion lotiony um and this is it's like in the medium, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, um, but it does moisturize my skin very, very well. Okay, and it usually just stinks into my skin and I don't worry about it after that. So after that's on my face, I will put on a little bit of this Nivea Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm. Um, and it looks like that. Um, and I'll just put a little tiny bit on my, on my, um, on my hand like that. And then I will just kind of... I will just blend it in. And I usually just put it on my T-zone because this is the the part that needs the tackiness, not really the outer half of my face. But just like on my T-zone because my nose is always itchy now that we're in the allergy season. So always like it always rubs off on my nose because I'm always rubbing and rubbing. And I feel like if I put that right there, it's a lot better. So for the outer parts of my face, this is very dry for me, like around my um, up here and then around my cheeks is very very dry for me so I love to use this um, hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer mist um, it's it says it has a 12 hour hold um, or power and then has electrolytes energized plus hydrate skin what I love about it, it's oil free silicone free and alcohol free um, and I just really like to spray this like on the outside of my face so I'll do and then once that's on there I like to just Grab my beauty blender and or my real technique blender and just kind of blend all that out and then just I will use this new wet and wild foundation it's like this is in the shade cream beige and I feel like it is my color um, my sister used this and she said that her like she got her shade but they turn orange and I feel like they do uh, but that's if you use a lot, a lot, then it will turn orange. But I try to go very minimal on this um, foundation because if I do um, use a ton of it, it will turn orange. And also, it will just make me look really cakey. And so I only try to apply this where I need it. So I just usually will put some on the outer halves of my face. So like right here, right here. And then also like on my chin right here my forehead oh I just got some in my hair there and then I also put a little bit like on the sides of my nose and that's pretty much all I do and I will just blend all of this out just grab the real technique beauty blender and um, blend all of this in and I will make sure to drag this down my neck around my ears and that will just make it blend in seeming less. Then I'm going to use my Master Concealer by, or Master Conceal by Maybelline in New York. I've used this before. I love the coverage. I love it. But what I've learned is it's, it, like, creases a ton. And since I'm in the allergy season, if I, like, if my eyes water anything, it looks really weird because they'll just, like, peel off or come off right, right here. So I try to put as little, as minimal inside like my inner corner um, and then also like put most of the product right here and then blend it up so I won't have so much 
um, and then it won't look cakey and won't come off. I'm just going to grab this brush by Earth Therapeutics and um, it's just like a flat concealer brush and I'm going to pick up some concealer and put that just like dot it right here. It's a very thick concealer and it's a very full coverage. My um, dark circles, I have pretty bad dark circles. I mean, I have kids. I'm awake most of the night, I believe. Um, so I'm just kind of blending it out, putting some on the side of my nose, down my nose, and some on my chin, like that. And then quickly, I'll blend it out with the Real Technique Beauty Sponge. I really use a sponge or any kind of sponge for a lot of things. I love the way they apply everything, and um, it just really works out for me at least. So. Um, if I had one tip for you is if you have dry skin, even oily skin, um, a, a sponge just helps you do everything and blend everything out perfectly. Like, honestly, it's so pretty the way a sponge blends everything out. I've been doing is I've been grabbing this airspun powder in naturally neutral and um, this is what the packaging looks like and I've also um, bought this hard candy sheer envy fake brighten and set loose finishing powder in the shade it does have a shade but um, it's like this really bright yellow color I tried using this product on its own it just makes me look yellow and I don't like that. Um, I feel like on darker skin tones, if you're using this to highlight, um, and not highlight like a, like on your cheek, but like highlight your face, like brighten it, I feel like this would be great for you. But for me, I'm a little too like light to use this because it just makes me look sick, if that makes any sense. So what I do is I mix this into this, not like um, the shade, this, you see how they're totally different shades, you guys? But what I do is I just mix a little bit of this into this um, because I do like how the yellow brightens underneath my eyes. And it also doesn't make me look so light underneath my eyes um, because if I just use this powder on its own, it makes me look really light. And whenever I do take pictures, I feel like I look... It just, it just makes me look too light. So this um, yellow just tones it down a little bit and it also brightens and it looks really pretty. So that's what I've been doing. I just grabbed my beauty sponge again. Like I, I use no brushes for my face a lot of the time because I really do enjoy using my beauty sponge. So I'm going to grab my beauty sponge. Just grab a little bit on my sponge. I'm going to blend it underneath my eyes first because it did crease up. And I'm just going to stamp this right up there. And then I go and set everywhere that I have highlighted my face with the concealer. I know I look crazy right now, you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to blend instead of keep this bake right there. I'm just going to take the beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend that bake in my skin instead of just let it sit there. Because if I let it sit there... I feel like once I wipe it away, it just, I don't know. I don't like the way it looks whenever I do wipe it away. So I just like to blend, blend, blend. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and blend this out. And since that foundation is so matte, I feel like I don't have to... I don't have to set the rest of my face. I'm going to bronze up my skin with this Rimmel London Natural Bronzer Waterproof Bronzing Powder. The one thing I don't like about this powder is that it's sparkly. Like there's a little bit of like glitter, shine in there. Um, but you can't really notice it too much. But I just don't like it. If I went back, going back whenever um, I run out of this or I'm, I get tired of it, I'm going to try to find a, um, a matte bronzer, a matte I'm going to try to find a matte bronzer instead of this one because this one does have a little, a little bit of sparkles. I don't know if I'm going to find it, but um, like I said, you can't really tell that much. It just looks, it's just a little bit of, just a little bit. So I'm going to use this brush by um, Studio 35 Beauty, and it's a stippling brush. The um, This is usually what happens when we buy um, drugstore brushes, the end falls off. What I do is I grab super glue or Gorilla Glue and just glue it back on. It's not that big of a deal for me, and I'm just going to use it like this because it did fall off, and there's no point of me using the other end. But I just like to bronze up, or I usually just bronze up my forehead.
Okay, so I'm done with the bronzer. Now it's time to contour my face just a little bit. Um, and I've been using this e.l.f. This is actually a bronzer palette. I tried using it for bronzer. I didn't really like it because I felt like all these shades were a little too light for me. I'm pretty sure my sister could use, like, these shades. She's a little um, lighter than me, so I'm pretty sure she could. But um, they're all pretty light shades. If you guys can see that on my on my fingers. And if I, if I swatch them, like, you can't really even see that on I don't know. I just don't, I didn't like it for bronzing. I did, although, like one shade to contour out of this palette. And so, if you guys see this bottom shade, it's the darkest shade that I like to contour with. I like the color. I like the way it makes my top contour come out. So, I love that. So, I'm going to grab this brush by Studio 35 Beauty. Um, it's their duo ended brush. And I'm going to grab this dome shape right here with this shade in the e.l.f. palette. And I'm just going to start covering out my cheeks. And it's okay if you mess up because you can go back with the translucent powder and just clean up the um, contour a little bit. But I do like to blend my contour out. I don't like just a line. I'm also going to contour my nose. Clean, I'm clean. So I'm just looking a little bit too bronze. Like I said, you can go back with your powder. So I'm going to go back to my Airspun powder and carve out my nose a little bit better. And also, um, this is where you can have fun and carve out, you know, whatever you want to carve out. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this powder. I'm just going to put it on the side of my nose. And, and I'm just blending it in to make my lines a little bit thinner and to carve everything out better. On the rim of my nose. And then also, I'm going to grab a little bit, a tiny bit, and carve out. Like so. And just once again, just blending it out. I'm not brushing it off, but I'm just blending it. Blending it. Okay, now for blush, I will be using... Okay, guys, I don't really have a new blush that I'm in love with. Sorry, my camera is focusing. I don't have a new blush that I'm really, like, going for. So I'm just going to... So I'm just going to take this blush by Tula... Or by BH Cosmetics called Tulip. And I'm going to grab just a big old fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab a tiny bit. It's a um, blush duo. And I'm going to grab a little bit of this um, kind of, like, pinky, peachy, corally shade. I'm going to grab a tiny bit of that and just blend it out right here. Because if I grab too much, girl, these are very pigmented blushes. If I grab too much, I look way too pink. I'm tapping a lot of it off of my brush. Okay, moving on to highlight. Right after I finish that, I'm going to move on to highlight. I usually do that this every single day. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild, which I highly encourage you to go buy. Like, go buy this highlighter. Great highlighter, you guys. It's an awesome highlighter. Go buy it. Super cheap, super affordable, and a great, great Great, great, can't stress that enough highlighter. It's amazing, it's awesome. I'm going to grab a fan brush by Bella Pro. Looks like that. And this is what it looks like. It is perfect for my sister, for, for both of us. Like, she's lighter than me, a little darker than her, but it's perfect for both of us. And it's super, super pigmented. You guys, look at that. Look at that. Look at that highlight, though. I usually like to make like a Pac-Man like mouth on my, do you guys see that? It's like a little triangle right here. I usually like that. I just like drench my whole face in highlight. So dirty. And I'm going to put some right there. Put some on the tip of my nose. To carve out my eyes a little bit, like my crease of the eye, I'm going to be going back into this e.l.f. palette, and I like to use this shade. No, this, no, no, this shade. This shade. I like to use this shade in the e.l.f. Um, in the e.l.f. palette, and this, this brush by Sonia Kashuk, I like to go into this shade right here. Uh, you can definitely build this shade up on your eyes, and I just, I don't know, I like it how it looks. It's not too bronzy for me. It just creates a light shadow in my eye, and I really, really like that about it. I'm just going to just go back in there and, and that's it. That's all I do for my eyes. For my eyebrows, I like this e.l.f. Um, brow pencil. 
yeah, brow pencil, and it's in the darkest, it's like a really dark brown. Um, once it gets too thick, I do use a brush every, whenever you first do use this um, brow pencil, it has like a little pointed tip, but after you start using it, it, the tip goes down and it just goes flat, like a round flat shape, and I don't like that about it. Um, so I just use, I'll dip like a, a little angled brush in it and use it because I really do love this brow product. It's so great for your brows. Um, so I'm just going to go in. And I just lightly do this, you guys. Like, I use the tiniest bit of product on a daily basis. Just go into my eyebrows and just enjoy. It is so easy, so simple, and I just blend it out. And. That is literally all I do for my eyebrows. I just lightly go in, you know, make them a little bit more defined. For my mascara, this is not any mascara, but it's one of my, like, I hated this mascara if you guys saw me talk about it in my last video. I think it was my last video. I didn't like this mascara at all. I hated it. It's the CoverGirl Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. But I wasted a lot of this product. I grabbed this and I just wiped, 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 wiped it off on a paper towel till there was barely any product. And I really like it whenever there's barely any product. I don't know if anybody else is like that. Or if you like your mascara kind of dried out. Um, and so I really like it now. But whenever I first bought it, it was way too like watery, too much product on the wand. It was cray cray, you guys. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this and I literally just go whoop. Guys, this always happens to me. Like, why? Why does it happen to me? I'm always, like, poking myself. So I fixed that little situation. We're all good now. Um, I'm going to use, for lips, this Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. It is so pretty, you guys. I've been using it, and I love it. Most of these products that I'm using that are new, I've been loving, literally, like, loving. And they're, they're so affordable, so cheap. Okay guys, so this is what this lip color looks like. It's really pretty, but it does dry down matte. It takes a little while to dry down, dry down matte, but it really does dry down matte. But I think that's it for this makeup look, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, you guys. I do mom things. I do my things. I do the kids things. Literally, it's such a fun channel for anybody and everybody who wants to watch. I tell you about my personal life. I literally just talk about all of it on this channel. So, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up if you do like these kinds of videos. And leave a comment. Tell me what you want to watch next. Um, and that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.